Well, with us now is Tom Marsh, who is Professor of Astrophysics from the University of Warwick. Uh, thanks for joining us here on BBC News. Uh, what is a supermoon? Supermoon is when the moon gets uh, closest to Earth and at the same time as the full moon. So the moon has a squashed orbit and sometimes it's far away and sometimes it's close to the Earth. Um, but once it coincides with when it's a full moon, it lines up with the sun and then we get a supermoon. So it's, it's the moon itself hasn't actually changed size, it's the position of the moon. That's right, the moon itself is no, no difference, it just appears closer, um, appears bigger when it's closer to us. So it's around 350,000 kilometres now, which is one of its sort of closest distances in get from us. And so it looks a bit larger in terms of angle. And how often does this happen? Well, I mean, as you said, the next one is 2034, and the previous time it was um, very close was uh, 1948, so it's not very common. I mean, it's coming close to the Earth on, on a regular basis every 27 days, but it's the coincidence of the close approach and the full moon that uh, distinguishes this one. In terms of talking about the size, I take your point that it's clearly not changed size, but why, for example, when we see a harvest moon, does that look so large in the sky? Yeah, the moon is a, is, it's a funny thing, um, effect with your um, optical um, illusion al almost. If you see a moon you know, behind trees, as I sometimes do when I drive back from work, it can appear enormous because it appears to be bigger than the trees, but it's your, um, it's your brain which is interpreting the size of the moon compared to the background, uh, which makes a very big difference. So it is actually very difficult to judge the size properly. Um, according to where it is. So if you see it high in the sky, it looks small. If you see it on the horizon, it looks big, but it's the same size. We've all been getting very excited about this supermoon. As a professor of astrophysics, is it exciting for you? It's, it's a fairly regular occurrence in a way, the, the way the moon goes around the Earth, and, and we, know, we know about it for a long time, but I think it's more the sort of historical context of our understanding of the moon, and also a reminder of the very dynamic nature of the moon. It, it's not a really appreciated that many uh, billions of years ago it was actually much, much closer to the Earth. It would have been ten times closer, more than ten times closer than it is now, and it would have looked enormous in the sky. So it's changed a lot over, its, over the course of history. So just very briefly, how can it have changed so much? How, do, how has that worked? That's because the tides, it, it draws up tides on the Earth. And what's been happening since the Earth was um, uh, you know, very young and the Moon was also young, the Moon was started off close and then it's gradually been spiralling away from us over a very, very long time scale. And we are talking billions of years. Um, and so once it really would have been much, much larger, it would have, it would have drawn up tides more than a kilometre high on the Earth. A very exciting time in the early Earth's history. Professor Tom Marsh, really good to talk to you. Thanks so much.